Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Let me say shout out to everybody who came in and watched me stand up for Cowboys Nation and do the walk of shame against the evil that is Dan Salio and Philly 500. That was really, really hard. But, you know, it's hard right now for a Cowboy fan because we have been doing and believing and still spending our money and everything else. And there's a movement afoot right now. Fire Jerry Jones. If you go on Twitter or, excuse me, Elon Musk on X you'll and, and look for the hashtag Fire Jerry, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is where all of this began, and let me start showing you this, because this is, this is good. Maybe, you know, Jerry taking some heat, because see, here's what Jerry Jones is good at. Jerry Jones is good at, you know, he gets Dak Prescott, gets C.D. Lamb, and when the Cowboys don't succeed, instead of saying, we don't have enough with just those two players, that Jerry Jones, you know, not signing or saying Derrick Henry is too much or, you know, Stephen Jones saying, you know, if you spend in free agency, um, you overpay because you messed up in the draft. And my answer to that is that may be true. You may have messed up in the draft. So you mess up in the draft and you're going to make it worse by then trying to do without. So I'm trying to figure out, am I the crazy one here that says, you have to go out in free agency and fill in the spots that need to be filled. But the Cowboys are the least spending team in the NFL. So here's the story of how this got started. Season for the Dallas Cowboys and fans are feeling it. Many are voicing their frustration. And as Meredith Yeoman shows us, one fan is taking his message to the streets. It's, it really felt like a lame duck season, so I'm not surprised. What Cowboys fan isn't frustrated? I've been that fan. Possibly now more than ever. I came here out of passion and love. Here to the star in Frisco, where after Sunday's loss, Stefan Gonzalez made a bold move. May my voice be heard. Hoping his team will, too. Fire the GM. His plain and simple sign. Fire the GM. <laughs> Jerry. Suggests Jerry the owner should fire Jerry the general manager. His hot take. That's a thumbs up. That's support right there. Had one driver after another doing double takes. As people who love and care the Dallas Cowboys and the brand that he built, we just think it's time to let go. Please. Yes, sir. It's time to let go. It's time to let go and let somebody else take over. A photo of Gonzalez holding his sign has been viewed online nearly 200,000 times with one comment calling it a movement all of Cowboys Nation can get behind. And that's where we really get penetration into the front office, into the star. If we just say it to, you know, casual talk, he's never going to hear it. But we're, this is what we're saying. During an interview with 105.3 The Fan Tuesday, Jerry Jones responded to fans' claims that he is the one to blame for the Cowboys' problems. Well. It's, it's well known that no decision is ultimately made there for what I either have not acquiesced or approved it. That's very fair. How, how could you think otherwise? A lifelong Cowboys fan, Gonzalez says he has no plans to defect. Never. I could never do that. From what he sees as the most deserving fan base in football. Hopefully others come and join me. In Frisco, Meredith Yeomans, NBC5. Of course. Season for the Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty dramatic. So over 200,000 people. So I saw that originally, but here's where it gets to be interesting. If you Go through and the hashtag, you know, we got Jay Tuck, you know, retweeting that. Uh, the Cowboys Nation, it's a movement. Fire Jerry movement. Look at this. L look at some of the stuff that's popping on here. Share if you want Jerry to step down as GM and hire a competent real GM and coach. I I'm not sure that it's the coach's problem. You know, here's the thing that you have to look at is... <laughs> Jerry's seen the fans aren't falling for his bullshit anymore. Okay, look at that, throwing up. Fire Jerry, you know, you, you got even Acho talking about it. 
Fire Jerry, Attitude Error, Cowboys, uh, Space Cowboy. You know, this is, here's the, and these are the ones I love right here. I should get Tracy to make one of these. The movement is beginning, take charge. In fact, I'm going to send her one of those and get her to print me one like this. Fire Jerry. Yeah. Fire, you know, this is where you start looking at this and saying, yeah, Fire Jerry. But see, here's the thing. I, I'm not ready to say that Dak Prescott is the problem, that CeeDee Lamb is the problem, that Micah Parsons is the problem, or even that Mike McCarthy is the problem. Because here's what you have to look at. Because, you know, but believe it, you know, we, we all fell into the hype and said, you know, Dan Quinn's not a good coach. What was Dan Quinn doing, you know, in, in nickel coverage uh, in that game when we had, had you know, uh, Green Bay running against him? How could he? You know how could he? Because he saw what our defensive line is. He's like, you know, I'm going to get killed one way or the other. At least let me get my best players out there. That what Dan Quinn was doing was with smoke and mirrors, and he took a team that defense looked like it did the last two weeks and made them at least competent. So are we to believe that Dan Quinn just forgot how to coach with the Cowboys but remembered how to coach and starting over with the Washington Commanders? Or are we looking at it and saying, Jerry Jones, maybe getting Lenville Joseph, who was good a couple of years ago, maybe that guy's past his prime and maybe we should have done a little bit more. You know, maybe, you know, getting Jordan Phillips, who the Giants, who were a bad team, said, we can live without that guy, decided to walk on. Because we let go competent players and we end up just getting anybody. At the moment, I, I said this, you know, I said, we're going to find out if this is 2020 all over again where the Cowboys went out and got Clinton <clears throat> Haha Dix, who didn't make it through training camp, Gerald McCoy, who got hurt at the beginning of training camp, Emerson Griffin, who was okay, <clears throat> and Don Terry Poe, who was too old and too fat to do anything, <clears throat> where you were literally looking at guys that they brought in that when they let go were pretty much done with football or football was done with them. That this was like the last gas, let me get a paycheck on the way out type guys. And that's not the players on the field's fault. They're doing the best they can to compete against other teams that actually have young talented players you know the eagles <clears throat> as much as i hate them they went out and got saquon and right now saquon is looking like the best back in football well whether or not he can hold up for the whole season i don't know you can look at derrick henry who wanted to come here maybe would have taken a discount from the cowboys maybe have taken less to be able to say i ain't got to buy a home because i got two of them in dallas Maybe that guy might have been able to help our running game, which is atrocious. You know, one of the worst ones in football. So, yeah, the fire Jerry, I'm on board with that right now. So, definitely go on there on Twitter and definitely send it out there. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, it's hard to be a Cowboys fan sometimes. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.